Hey YouTube, so today I'm going to be doing a video for you guys on a personal experience that I've endured over the past couple of years. And a lot of people come up to me and they're asking about how to make money joining platforms. Long having history and being able to go from your own personal experiences, it makes things a little bit more personalized. So today I want to share with you guys the truth about joining MLMs and what you need to do, what do you need to know. So I'm going to give you guys five tips on what to do, what to look for, and how to kind of grasp yourself and establish like if this is something that's really for you. wants to make more money right we've all been there and you're always going to be a target especially if you're on social media and people are looking at you watching you you know looking at your posts seeing what you're talking about what you're asking for if you're a person that likes money which is majority of us right the most common thing i hear all the time guys is someone saying especially if you're prospecting them i need to do my research on the company first and then i'll get back to you i need to know more about the company and i'm here to tell you from personal experience it's never the company that you have to do research on it's in fact who is prospecting you who you're getting ready to lose the person that's talking to you telling you about this like awesome company and the reason why i say that is because if you are been reached out to meaning a person is just telling you about this awesome business they're really doing well they're making so much money it's a great opportunity what they're really doing is marketing that that business platform that position and typically it's giving from a script of some sort some training you know their upline whoever might have passed that information on to them they're telling them to say that and the reason why I say you should really find out about the person that's prospecting you because that's the potential person that's going to be founding you, who you're going to be ultimately breaking bread with or a person that's going to be mentoring you. You need to know about them. Unfortunately, with a nine to five, you can't really tell how your supervisors or managers are gonna be, right? Because they're always going to be above you. And that's just the sad reality. But when you are investing into a company or platform and you are told that you are, you know, a business person or you're, a bit, you know, BP or whatever the case is, you have say in what you're doing. And it starts with the recruit side, who you're joining first. You need to be comfortable and be aware of that person. And marketing is definitely part of the gig when you have a business or you join a platform. But at the same time, you gotta ask yourself, do you just wanna be a marketer? But ultimately, when you're doing MLMs, that's what it is. Multi-level marketing, you're simply marketing. And we kinda shy away from the actual business portion of it. So if you are being prospected, here is what I suggest that you do. First, you interview them. Check out their social media and see what they talk about. Often it's just a bunch of shared content from the ringleader or of the agency or group. So again, that term upline, a person that has joined the company, maybe some mass amount of time, maybe have a huge social media presence and following, and they probably are making a lot of money in the company. But if you're, you have a person that's prospecting you, telling you to join, and they're marketing pretty much someone else, it's like, how can you how can you really build from that foundation? And again, I won't say that it's not something that isn't doable and people are not out here getting money. But again, this is about marketing and how to structure being a marketer versus being a business person, being an entrepreneur. Like which one do you Me personally, and when I work with someone, I like to know their style, their background, their work ethic, how what kind of jobs that they have beforehand. 
it shows longevity again monetary is cool because it's like okay this is true and we're so sold on the fact that if a person is making money in the company then it must be something right and we immediately jump on there and then we kind of get left behind now i don't know if anybody else have been fellow mlmers but for those who can relate you you, you can tell what i'm talking about we've been in some type of platform to where you felt like you might have been left behind or this that or the third you weren't growing or doing anything and that's because you really didn't understand the person who brought you into the business what they were about and what they got from it sometimes they're new they're like two three days in or a week in or even a month in and they're literally being fed crap to just get people and recruit and recruit because the recruiting of course builds the business but at the same time what is the business are you really working your business or are you just more so focusing on the marketing side because there is a difference don't jump in too fast. Temptation is key, but take some time to think cognitive about making your investment. Are you investing because you're simply, you want the money or are you looking to make a difference? You might be looking into both, but if a person is bringing to you something about a business, then you kind of really want to focus on what it is that the business is and that other stuff will come and another thing is before i started going into my tips don't join these platforms to have somebody identify you if you come into a business platform a person prospects you they pretty much tell you all these nice things about you your personality your work ethic they think that you can do this that or the third it's really to me just a thing a way to one coax you to get going and of course build so that they build Again, a lot of people might call this type of chain reaction, a pyramid scheme, things of that nature. And I like to really shy away from that term because I don't technically feel like MLM, they're all like pyramid schemes. It really all depends on if you're actually being schemed or if you're actually just being lazy and not doing work. So I would never say that it's a pyramid scheme, but just think about it before you join, right? You're putting your money into something and you have a say. Second thing, ask yourself is this, if this is something you see yourself doing for the long haul. Would you personally buy this if a person came to you, whatever product you're selling, would you personally buy it? That's, that's the number one kicker right there. And then another thing I like to bring up is that people will say, you know, no one supports my business. I can't do this. I can't do that. But then you're absent at the same time. You're not showing up. Nobody even knows what you're doing. So how can you expect a person to want to support you if you're not supporting yourself? Small businesses typically before they even actually get to jump usually take anywhere between three to five years. So are you in this for the long haul? Number three, ask for companies blueprint. Or maybe a preview of something like a vision board or mission statement or something like that. And the reason why I say that is because at least you kind of know what the foundation of the company is built on and you can make make your decision like is this is it just like out there just trying to recruit 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 or is it really built on a solid platform. And if the person that's prospecting you isn't able to provide that typically companies don't provide it unless you actually pay your platform fee and you can kind of get access to it but i've been in, in some cases where i've been prospected and i would say hey let me see the company's like mission statement or maybe a pledge or something of those lines so that way i can kind of really identify if this is a place that i want to be what are you asked to do what's the company asking you to do and again, that might sound more like a job, but in the beginning of a business, you are structuring yourself to kind of figure out where you are and what you want to be and if this is worth it for you and where do you have placement, like where, what's your placement? Because truth be told, not everybody is built to be an entrepreneur. There are segments into it. There's supervisors, there's managers, there's the people that work the business, but then you have the CEO and all that stuff on top of it. You have to ask yourself if you're cut out for it. What is the vision of the company, the founder, the CEOs, blah, blah, blah. What are their backgrounds? Is there any relatability? I often see that in a lot of MLMs, we can't relate to the person that is either one trying to recruit us or prospect us or the person that they're constantly talking about. So my suggestion is to find a person in that category or whomever do that type of research to see what makes you relatable to them are they fraudulent <laughs> meaning are they just making up a whole bunch of social media gimmicks and you know games just to just to get a following and just to get people to buy into what they're doing or are they really sincere typically the humble more you know sincere bre um, breeds usually get the bigger traffic and following 
Number four, find out what you're paying for. Typically these platforms come with a monthly fee. I've experienced quite a few of them and thus I was able to maintain these fees. I found myself kicking out more money for other subscription sites because it was not available to me or user friendly or intermediate. I didn't know like it wasn't intermediate meaning it wasn't what I needed even if it might have been provided for it so if you find yourself getting your feet wet and then along the way you start to grow your business and then you're like you f have all these tools that you need for example invoice apps CRMs and things of that nature and you're paying for a monthly fee that doesn't really come with that type of stuff then you're more like okay is there something else out there or I'm giving you the juice so that way you can kind of pre-meditate this stuff in advance because we've all been prospected where people are always looking at us, watching what we're doing and so on. So I found that at times when systems weren't in place, even if the company was working on it, sometimes you don't know any of those things. It's actually a lot more money down the road and people would say that it pays the cost to be the boss and that is relatively true. But if there is something better out there, then you want to make sure that you've done your full thread of research pertaining to that and those those products and qualities to see if it's beneficial for you. And also number five, training support skills. You are more than likely going to join and you're going to be under the umbrella of someone else. And when I say someone else, I mean upline. Who prospected you? Who recruited you? Find out who these people are. What, what groups are they in? So if you have a person that prospect you and then there's other people because there's always someone on top of someone, on top of someone, on top of someone, find out who they are. If this is something that you're interested in wanting to do, how can you get closer to them? How can you work with them? How can you meet them? Pick their brains a little bit if you're at conventions and things of that nature and you're able to see that. Like see if this is really for you, if, these, if it's a real thing or if it's not a real thing. Honestly, this is probably the thing that I despise the most when I was involved in doing these things because you simply because at this point I felt like I had to prove myself to be noticed or seen. Now let me explain to you guys what I mean by that. Typically when you join a platform and you're recruited to someone else, they're typically trying to sell you on to whoever is at the top because that person that's at the top was in the business longer than you. You know what I mean? So they're selling you to that point and I feel like I already come with skills even if you know whatever my background is and sometimes companies don't want you to be like that or be like oh you know even like jobs they want you to come fresh so they can train you and groom you into what they want you to be but when you know better you do better right when you have the knowledge you tend to want to start thinking more for yourself and me personally I hated being in a, a scenario to where it was like you know I had to prove myself because if I'm putting up numbers, if I'm doing what I want to do in the business and I'm happy with where I'm at or content with where I'm at, then I don't want to be pushed to be in the, the mind space or bracket of someone else who I don't even know. I just know of him because you've talked about him. But that doesn't mean I want to be graced with his presence. Doesn't mean I'm relatable to him or I feel him or her or whoever it is. So be aware of that. And then again that becomes the thing that you focus on because now you're focused on the marketing side and then you start to lose your business starts to suffer because now you're not doing your selling points with business because it's usually nowadays with these platforms they're they're pretty much like tied together you got marketing and then you have your business unfortunately you're usually going to be more sold on the marketing side of it so that's why they're like recruit 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 so that's not something that you feel like you could be that, that you can do, then I highly suggest that you take a step back and go into a different direction because these are the things that you want to look into when joining an MLM.